Welcome, my name is Wolfgang Hoppen Schweinenberger, and today we will be taking a little peek at the mathematical principles behind student activism. It's a wonderful way of spending the afternoon. <laughs> Let's take a look. If we take the beginning of our formula for Volkism, that is x, intellectually inadequate student, plus c, obscenely irrelevant academic course, but this time we multiply it by e, inflated ego, minus o, meaningful job opportunities. Then we end up with a, student activist. The lack of meaningful job opportunities O is in direct relation to the number of applicants for, for the obscenely irrelevant academic course. Do you see, if the course you are studying teaches you nothing of value, then you will have no value to add. <laughs> in fact, if we just multiply X by C, we get N, no job. And then, if we multiply this by Y, academic outlook, plus B, government benefits, then we get A again. But this time, we get the adult activist. And because it's actually the same, we can just say A is an identity to A. Activist, student, activist, adult. It's the same thing. <laughs> So if we take the A, the activist, and we multiply by Volkism divided by hypocrisy, which if you watch the other lectures, you know equals intolerance. So you multiply activism by intolerance, and it equals violence minus the square root of decency, D. Which of course means you must have a very high level of moral decency to prevent your activism multiplied by intolerance from becoming violence. Now, if you want to work out the decency level, hold on for a moment, then you must do this. Decency, D, equals attention to global issues, G, plus, excuse me, plus attention to local issues, L, cubed. Now, this means, of course, that if you are solely focused on global issues and not on local issues, you will have a far lower moral decency value. When we talk about being interested in local issues, we mean one's personal behavior and how they actually treat people around them. When we talk about global issues, we are only referring to what people profess they believe in. But what is the point of saying to everyone, you must treat the world with love and kindness, and you treat people around you like dirt? <laughs> So, if people concentrate the bulk of their attention on their personal behavior, then there is a chance, there is a good chance, that the decency squared value will be high enough to turn the violence value into a negative, and therefore prevent it from becoming manifest. Now, of course, there is nothing inherently negative about activism. Without activism, we would not have the great scientific breakthroughs that we have throughout history. However, when the x value and the c value are positive, we then get intellectually adequate student plus a relevant academic course. And this will mean that the a is a positive value also. This is the kind of activism where the activist embodies the behavior that they demand in others. Oh, eh? The wonder of mathematics. Good day. Uh, that was the video, and if you'd be kind enough to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, it would be much appreciated.